In this video, we are going to continue with practical applications. You will find this on page 74 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at a compound interest example. Gerdes invested 500 annually in an account at 5% compound interest per annum. What is the total amount of money in the account at the end of 50 years? Use the compound interest formula to calculate the value of each term. So just substitute in the place of R, it's 5. Do you see that? That's for the first year. Um, the, the beginning amount is 500, so that's P, the principal. Okay, so this is the sequence. I can work it out, otherwise I can leave it in that form. Uh, the value of A is the amount at the end of the first year. Okay, so that is the value of A, the beginning of the sequence. Now, if I get the value of R, it's T2 divided T1 or T3 divided T2, and it's 1.05. So, it's a GP, the value of R is bigger than 1, the value of A is this, the value of N is 50, so I want to find S50. Because the value of R is bigger, I put the R's in front. And I just basically simplify that. So the total amount of money at the end of 50 years will be 109,907.70. The reason is because it's annually. So it's not doing it every month. If it was every month, it would have been far more. But it's just once a year. That's why I don't look so big. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finish. Marley wins 10,000 in a scratch card, which is paid as 1,000 per year for 10 years. She invested it year by year at a rate of 8% over the 10 years. Write on the first three terms of a series that shows the amount she will have at the end of, of 10 years. So it's first just the series. Now, again, Remember, I'm going to use the compound formula. What is the compound formula? It's A, 1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. Okay, so let's substitute it. Uh, I know that it's a thousand, so let's see what is my information. It's a thousand and N is 10. Okay, but it's just the first three terms. So I put a thousand. 1 plus, and in the value of R, uh, how many percent is it? It's just 8%. And that will be the first year. So the second year will be also 1,000. 1 plus 8 over 100, and that's 2. And then, oh, just a little bit still not. And then the third year is 1,000. 1 plus 8 over 100, and that's 3. Okay, so write on the first three terms. Then number B, um, use the formula for the sum of a geometrical but to find the amount. So I will know that the value of A is this. If I press this on the calculator, I can maybe just work it out. So I divide 100 plus 1 equals... Multiply a thousand. Okay, so don't forget that this is 1080 <clears throat> just because I want that value of R. So it's 8 divided 100 plus 1 equals to the power 2 equals multiply a thousand. And this is 1166.4. Okay, plus, and if I want that one, 8 divided 100 plus 1 equals to the power 3 equals multiplier. And that will be 1259.712. Okay. So if I'm, I'm getting my value of A, it's 1080. My value of R, remember this is term 1 term 2, term 3, 
So I can even take, I have now term 3 on my calculator. So let's just divide it by term 2, 1166.4. And the value of R is 1.08. You can either get it by T3 divide T2 or <coughs> T2 divided by T1. And you will also see that that 2 will be equal. Okay, so now if I'm going to start with my sum, I'm going to say is 10. <coughs> the value of R is bigger, so it's A, R to the power of N, minus 1, R minus 1. And it's then the value is 1080, and then R is 1.08 to the power of 10 minus 1 and then it's 1.08 minus 1 and then I just press this on my calculator and my final answer she will get a little bit more than the 10 15 it's actually one and a half six four five point four nine that's what you will get at the end of the 10 years. Okay.